Guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and talk a little bit about the code before we go out and fight the good fight. Before I get started today, from now on, I'm going to be dropping code references in the description as I get time to do it. So if I drop it out in the field, I may not have time, but today you can look for it. We'll have the code references down in the field to anything that we're talking about. And if you guys want to drop some code references for different parts, you can drop them down in the comments below. That way we can all join in and encourage each other. So here's the score today, guys. We're going to talk about uh, one of your guys' requests asked me to talk talk about the two different ways that you can wire um, bathroom receptacles. So there's a couple different ways that you can do it. So for one, you can run a dedicated circuit to that bathroom and run everything in that bathroom. You can run the lighting, the receptacle, anything else you got, as long as you don't have one, fi one fixed piece of equipment that's over 50% and you don't have one cord and plug connected that is over 80%. So uh, that's the 80-50 rule. We're going to break those down in depth next week. But you can run a dedicated circuit to a specific bathroom and run everything in that bathroom as long as you don't have anything that is over 50% of that circuit and it's required to be a uh, 20 amp branch circuit. Okay, and then you cannot leave that bathroom and wire anything else. Not another bathroom, not anything else. So that's scenario one. Scenario two is I can run a uh, 20 amp circuit and I can go to bathroom one receptacle. I could go to another receptacle in that bathroom. Then I can take off with that circuit and go to another bathroom and run the receptacle only. Then I can go to a third bathroom and run the receptacle only. All off that one 20 amp branch circuit. I can't run any other lights. I can't run anything else in that bathroom. No other piece of equipment. No other anything else except for receptacles inside of the bathroom. Then what I will do with my lighting is I can run it off of any other branch, normal branch circuit in the house. So any of your other uh, lighting, general lighting and general uh, receptacle branch circuits. But you have to be careful. Likely that circuit's going to need to be arc fault protected. So those lights would then need to be arc fault protected. So the two scenarios I can run a dedicated line to a bathroom run anything I want in the bathroom as long as I don't exceed 50% of that branch circuit with any one of the pieces of equipment a good example would be a bathroom vent fan heat that has the heat in it you likely can run the 2.2 amp blower motor and whatever else is involved in the light but you are not going to be able to run the um bathroom vent fan heat so scenario one i can run one dedicated circuit scenario two i can hop to as many bathrooms as i want one two three four five bathrooms with one 20 amp branch circuit but i'm not allowed to do anything except for the bathroom receptacles in those bathrooms and i'm not allowed to run anything else off it. So this is the electrical code coach this is the electricians in action remember guys get out here and get to it it's about to be a new year if you want to get your license this year this is the year to do it we're out here getting it Woo! i'm just so excited electricians in action let's get to it.